Greetings to all you exquisitely inquisitive ladies, gentlemen, and scholars, and welcome to Philosophia Naturalis with J. Ellen. In this episode, we shall observe a simple derivation of Newton's universal law of gravity. And so, here we have it. Newton's universal law of gravitation. Isn't it exquisite? And so, essentially, what this says in layman's terms is any point mass in the universe attracts any other point mass in the universe with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So, you have an object here, and you have another object here, and as the mass of the one object increases, the gravitational force will directly increase as well, so that's directly proportional. The inverse part means that as the distance increases, the gravitational force will decrease. So this is the force of gravity, right? G for force of gravity. And this is the universal gravitational constant here. So that's a constant, right? And this is the mass one, and this is the mass two. So we have two objects um, interacting here, right? And this R, for some reason, R represents distance. Uh, uh, I don't know why. Anyway, the distance is being squared. So it's inversely proportional, and it's the square of the distance. And so now, what we want to do with this law is we want to find the rate of change of the force with respect to the distance. So as the distance is changing, how will the force change? First, before we take the derivative, let's simplify this a little bit, doing a little algebra, shall we? So what we'll do is... Now we can take the derivative of both sides. It will be much easier now that we don't have to use the quotient rule. And so, taking the derivative of the force, what happens here? The variable, so the variable which will simply become 1. And since we're taking the the derivative of the force in respect to r, the distance, we have to tack on this notation here to represent that we're taking the derivative of the force with respect to r. And so now we can take the derivative of this side, and that may look a little daunting, but once it realize that this is a constant, the universe of constant of gravity, and these are also constants because ideally you would know the mass of these two objects. So the only thing we have to really worry about is what's going to happen with this guy here. So, and so the first step is finished here. Didn't have to touch these guys, right? All we had to do was use the power rule on the R. So that was simple. Now we can clean things up a little. And so here we are, the cleaned up version. No real math going on here. All we did was rearrange the numbers a bit. So what this tells us is exactly what I told you before is as the distance increases, the force, the gravitational force will decrease. So that's what that negative sign represents. The distance between them has increased. And so that's it. That's the simple derivation of Newton's universal law of gravity. I hope that you enjoyed playing with gravity as much as I did, and if so, give it a like and subscribe. Have a good day.